so the next part of the discussion the next chapter under our discussion is carbon and uh, its compounds it's also called chemistry of carbon chemistry of carbon compounds that means indirectly here we are just speaking something about the uh, carbon chemistry if you take carbon carbon symbol is c its uh, atomic number is 6 atomic mass represented by a 12 and if you go to the structure of the carbon atom nucleus it contains two shells in two shells we have two electrons in the first shell and four electrons in the valence shell and it has six protons in the nucleus and moreover carbon is a this is the composition of atom that is uh, atomic number of carbon is 6 and uh, atomic weight of carbon is uh, 12 and here we can take this carbon it's a non metal actually carbon is a non metal and it belongs to p block of the periodic table fine if you go to the structure of electronic structure of the carbon that is atomic structure of carbon here you are finding that it contains four valence electrons it contains two core electrons it contains a nucleus and it contains six protons so from this it's very clear that from this structure of from this structure of atomic structure of carbon it contains uh, the, it contains uh, total four valence electrons four uh, electrons which are valence electrons it contains six protons so if that is the case this carbon if you take this carbon if you take uh, if it wants to lose all these four electrons if you want to remove four electrons from the carbon two electrons and four electrons you need large amount of energy you need almost four ionization energies ionization energy 1 2 ionization energy 4 if you apply then only this carbon can acquire four units of positive charge with the loss of four electrons but that is quite difficult because when you until and unless you supply large amount of energy to remove all the four four valence electrons present in the carbon the carbon cannot lose all the four electrons and it cannot form four positive charges that means with great difficulty what exactly we have to understand here is carbon with great difficulty it is going to acquire four units of positive charge so therefore carbon cannot show the positive oxidation state plus four oxygen state with that much easiness similarly if you go for the same carbon there is one more difficulty for the carbon if you take carbon two electrons and four electrons at the same time carbon also it cannot gain all four electrons at a time to acquire uh, c4 minus because the problem is here if if the carbon is going to gain another four electrons total six electrons are already there in the c4 minus in the c4 minus the composition if you take it has six protons and now it has total number of electrons four electrons plus four electrons total two electrons plus two electrons and another eight electrons total it has 10 electrons six electrons it becomes very difficult six electrons cannot be attracted so easily the six protons cannot attract 10 electrons so easily in the structure of the atom within the nucleus so with great difficulty the carbon is going to form c4 minus that is carbon cannot acquire 
4 minus oxygen state or negative oxygen state with that much ease. Now, this, this is something about the electronic structure of carbon and the electronic property of the carbon. And if you go to the general introduction of the carbon, now why this chapter we call it as carbon chemistry, why carbon is so unique? As already I told you, let us put it in this way, let us understand the carbon property of carbon in this way. Carbon, uh, carbon as an element is always unique, it has unique properties, one is carbon is non-metal, carbon is non-metal, first point, second point, carbon can react, it can react with the any element, it can react with metal, it can react with non-metal, it can react with the even a metalloid. it can react with even metalloid. This carbon, it is a source of, it is a source of living, living and non-living components. Non-living components. If you go for living, a living source, if you take, if you take the living source, for example, uh, living source plants animals plants animals uh, these plants and animals in turn they produce certain energy sources like carbohydrates carbohydrates proteins amino acids and so on if you go for non living components non living components if you take the carbon as non-living, we can take wood, plastic, paper, minerals, oxides, many more, so on and so forth. Last but not the least, this carbon is also having one more unique property, that one more unique property which we can take here is, that is it has catenation power. carbon has a unique property called catenation power. What do you mean by catenation power? The interlinking of the atoms either in straight chains or branched chains in three dimensional pattern. The interlinking of atoms either in straight chains or in branched chains in three dimensional pattern, we simply call it as catenation power. The catenation power is very strong in the case of carbon when compared to all other elements in the periodic table. That's the reason the carbon is studied that's the reason this carbon element is given a special status in the form of carbon chemistry and we study this carbon chemistry in the form of carbon and its compounds that is chemistry of carbon compounds.